In the previous video, we learned how to create a basic route handler. In this video, and over the next few videos, let's understand more about working with route handlers. In this video, let's focus on handling a GET request. Before we start, I want to mention that for this topic on route handlers, we will not be focusing on the UI. Instead, we will be relying on Thunder Client, which is a REST API client for VS Code. It will help us make the necessary requests to test our route handlers. Please pause the video and install this VS Code extension. If you have it installed, let's proceed. For our examples, we are not going to set up a database as that would become a distraction in itself. We're going to keep it very simple and maintain the data in memory, which of course implies the data is lost when we restart the application or refresh the page. But that shouldn't matter as our focus is primarily on creating route handlers. Now to respond to a GET request, we need some data to begin with. Within the app folder, I'm going to create a new folder called comments. Within the folder, I'm going to create a new file called data.ts. The file name is not a Next.js convention. Within the file, I'm going to copy and paste an array of three comments. Each comment has an ID property and a text property. We have IDs one, two, and three, and the text, this is the first comment, second comment, and third comment. Really simple. You can think of these as user comments on a YouTube video. With our data in place, let's proceed to create our route handler. Within the same comments folder, create a new file, route.ts. Within the file, we define and export a get handler function. Now this is something we will be repeating a lot, so I have created a snippet out of it. I'm using an app called Pieces, which has a VS Code extension, Pieces Explorer. Here, you can see a list of three snippets that I regularly use for the Next.js videos. Route Handler is one we will be using a lot in the upcoming videos. With the cursor in place, I can right click on Route Handler and select Insert Snippet. And without spending too much time, we have our Get Route Handler in an instant. This function will return a new response object of the comments array in the JSON format. Let's import the comments array from dot slash data and update the return statement response.json comments. This completes our route handler to make a GET request. To test this handler, open Thunder Client and click on New Request. The HTTP verb will be GET, but the URL we change to HTTP localhost 3000 slash comments. We can leave everything else as it is. When I click on the send button, we have status 200 OK, and we get back our array of three comments. The get handler is working as expected. At the moment, we are using Thunder Client to fetch the comments, but in a real world application, the UI would make a request to fetch the comments on page load or on click of a button. But the bottom line is that we are able to define route handlers with Next.js. In the next video, let's understand how to handle a post request. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.